Hello there. Welcome to his garage. I'm not really standing outside my garage today, but I am uh, expecting an interesting uh, visitor here. And I would like to, uh, to show you a car that I think is really interesting. Now I've driven lots of weird and expensive cars and uh, you know, Lamborghinis like that and Ferraris like that and Maseratis and uh, even a Pagani Sonda and Porsche 959 and all sorts of, yeah, McLaren, you name it. Now, what happens when you drive such a car is that you push the throttle and in a second or two you are just illegal. So of course they are fun to drive, but you always have to try to drive slowly unless you have access to a racetrack which isn't always nearby. And they are of course very expensive. Now um, I'd like to show you this thing. Here we have it, a Saab Sport, Saab 96, two-stroke, short nose. This is an iconic car in a way. It is, uh, this is the car, not this exa exact uh, example, but this type of car was the car that won World Rally and Ship uh, races uh, some, uh, well, in the early 1960s. Eric Carlson won in uh, Monte Carlo a couple of times and he won uh, RAC in the UK. So this has, um, quite an interesting history this type of car. Now for road use they uh, Saab they made this sports version. The original three cylinder had some 40 horsepower this one has a bit over 50. Now the rally cars they were I think close to 80 uh, but this one is drivable uh, without any problem. It pulls well. Yeah what a car. Let's go for a drive. also wonder what's under the bonnet on this thing. I'll show you in just a second. Yeah, here we have something under the bonnet that holds forward. A little three-cylinder, two-stroke. Some 840 cc I think, something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, on this short nose, um, the radiator sits behind the engine. Uh, I don't really know why it ended up like that, but um, well, that's what they thought was good. It will of course get uh, warm engine air through uh, the radiator, but it works good enough. Um, the air evacuation is here. There are lids that you move winter and summer and so on to get air evacuation. And the race cars, or rally cars I should say, they had slots. They had slots up in the bonnet to get more air out. But the radiator was always behind the engine like this on these uh, uh, short nose uh, sobs. And as you can see it has an overhead fan shaft, not a camshaft, a fan shaft. And the sports model has three uh, Solex carburetors. Giving this car, or this engine, some uh, 10 horsepower extra compared to the um, standard version. And as you can see, water spray onto the distributor was a bit of an issue. So there's a little spray protection here and I uh, 
don't know how well it worked but that was what they could could do I don't know if this car has um, I think this is some kind of ventilation tube or what's that anyhow they tried to ventilate out moisture from the car from the distributor also and on the left hand side here you see that it has a um, oil container so the uh, lubrication was not premix on this uh, model it was um, uh, through a little pump that pumps in uh, oil into directly into the bearings really it was a bit of a uh, development to get that to work but yeah that's the system it has and as you've heard the uh, gearbox sitting behind the engine is um, a four speed the standard cars had three speeds and the four speed came a bit later if we go down here and take a look also the sports model also has disc brakes no power assist but disc brakes it has all right now to be able to uh, to make some better better bypass sequences we're going to take this car into the old Saab test track we'll see just a minute so this is historic ground the old little Saab test track Saab had test tracks uh, well they had no real test track besides this one so for real testing so to speak they uh, were using uh, tracks all over the world, uh, Dordenhofen in Germany, Balocco and Nadeau in Italy, Milford in England, Millbrook in the USA and so on. Anyhow, but this is the little tiny test track at Trollata, so Trollata, or nowadays Neps Trollata.
And here we have the, the owner of the, yeah, it's been a fun ride for sure. Here we have the owner of the car, Jonas. Thanks a lot for letting me borrow this fantastic cars of yours, car of yours. Yeah. My pleasure. Yeah, good fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the keys. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> and that's all from Moise Garage today. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.